Good morning, YouTubers. Um, good morning to you. And today is Monday, and it is uh, February 16th, so it's the time that I like to do a reading. Today I'm going to do two readings. Uh, one on Amber Rose and one on Nicki Minaj. Now, you might say, well, why am I doing both of those? They don't have anything in common, whatever. No, but they're two interesting people. Um, let me start off with Nicki Minaj. Um, first of all, Nicki Minaj is a magnet for drama and issues. Um, that's the first thing I have to say to you. If you don't already recognize that, then know that. Nicki Minaj um, started off and is still in this life of wanting to have fun and wanting to have a good time. Mm, if she's in a relationship with somebody, she's got to be the boss. You got to do exactly what she wants you to do or goodbye. Um, once you start trying to, to venture out on your own or speak up for yourself or uh, be a man, she's really not interested in you anymore. In fact, she's a ball buster. <laughs> Let me just be straight about it. And she likes to see if she can get you and hook you in and then take your manhood away. So, gentlemen, I would tell you to be very cautious and careful of her. She has um, a very arrogant way about her. She is a type of woman that who that can say exactly what's on her mind, no filter, no regards to your feelings, but you better watch what you say to her. Like who who can who can be that? Who can do that? That's ridiculous, but that's who she is. Um she comes across as somebody that's trouble. She's always trouble or weighted down. She she seems like she wants to be in a relationship or with someone or work in a partnership or what have you. But you can best believe that once she does do a partnership with with you working on something or she's in a relationship with you, she's going to talk about you like a dog afterwards. She is that chick right there. Um, she goes from being uh, three, eight... To, um, she goes into her later life wanting to be in a relationship and she might be more ready for it because in this time in her life she is um, she's constantly burning her bridges with people can I just say that she's always burning her bridges people stay close to her or next to her they like her humor they like her creativity um, but they don't like her attitude but she can't seem to get that together. She has a mouth on her that is not only arrogant, it's mean. You know how people can just be mean because they can be mean? That is Nicki Minaj right there. Um, let's see, 16, 7, 8, 9, 10. This year she's going to a number one year. So last year, uh, well, she came out with the pink print and things like that. It wasn't ever going to be a big hit. I think she sold about 200 million records. It's not going to do much more than that. This was an ending year for her. This should have been an end of all the crazy hair, a lot of the crazy songs. Um, it should be the end of her association, even with the record company. Because this year she's going to start new. Her birthday is December 8th, actually. So her year really will kick in December 8th. But she's going to be continually drawn into that whole um, uh, Little Wayne uh, bird and all that kind of mess. Because she's in a year that says it's time for her to start over. And she isn't going to take sides. So you can forget about that because she's smarter than that. She's a smart, she's a smart cookie. But... She's going to get to a point where she's sick of the mess and she's sick of the drama. She's going to move on. Expect her to move on. Expect her to plant some new seeds of creativity and new beginnings to her. See more of her. You'll be seeing way more of her. Minus the makeup, the hair, everything else. She'll just be her. Um, she's a Sagittarius, so she's not only creative, but she likes to think outside the box. Um, she likes to think ahead. Uh, she's that type of person. So she'll continue to do that. And this year she'll just, like I said, be planting more seeds of newness. Um, you can see her in a new relationship. That Meek Miles thing, mm -mm. she's going to be in a brand new relationship. She could be with a brand new record company. Mm. 
her songs are going to be different. Everything is going to be new. This year, she's going to have the courage as she gets past her birthday. So you can look at December 8th of 2015 into 2016, and that's when you'll see it. If you look forward today, you're not. She's only thinking about it. She wants everything to be new, new, new for her, and it will be. Um, fascinating person in some sense, but um, in some senses, not really. Rude, obnoxious, yes, honestly. She can be demanding. However, a lot of times, they say people that are creative are tend to be like that. Okay, that's cool. She's creative, but only to a point. She's more concerned about money. That's her number one thing, getting that money and holding on to that money. And if, she gonna, if you're going to be with her, she's going to have to run that relationship. The next person I wanted to do was Amber Rose. This person, to me, is really a fascinating person. I watched that, that documentary, Light Skin Girls. Come get this bread out, um, Camille. Sorry, guys. So I watched that documentary, Light Skin Girls, and Amber Rose was in that talking about her family didn't want to come to her wedding with Wiz Khalifa. You know, they felt that they were better than blacks or they were Cajuns or whatever they were. Okay. <clears throat> her mom is from Cape Verde. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring some water back. So, I'm not really hip to where that is. I have to look it up. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And, um, her dad is like Italian or something, something. But, she's a white woman. She's a white lady. But, <coughs> at least... From her dad's side, she would have dark hair or dark eyes or anything like that. Thank you. Because of the fact of the Italian aspect of her. Okay. But, once again, here is another white lady that is trying to... I would say, you know, I guess it's plain and simple, trying to be black... But trying to be accepted, um, is, is like Izzy Azalea, you know, trying to be accepted. Like, don't look at what I look like, listen to what I say. And playing, trying to play black people to the left or whatever. Amber is um, a party girl. She's all about herself. She's all about having a good time. The reason that Wiz Khalifa left, because if she's in a relationship, once again, similar to Nicki Minaj, she likes to run that relationship. She wants to be the boss and where you should be or where you shouldn't be or what you should wear, what you should do or whatever. And when you're young and dumb, no shade as a, as a dude and you just want the poo nanny, that's cool. You'll go along with it for, the, for a while. But once you're hit it and quit it and, and all of that, everything gets old. And she did not she did not look at Wiz as, as strong enough or brave enough or smart enough to figure that out. That everything gets old after a while. And to everybody. Not just to him. But she kind of played him like he was a fool. You know, let me take this, let me use this, let me take advantage of or whatever. Um, was his feelings in it? Absolutely. His feelings were definitely into the situation. But she played him to the left like he was a fool. And was like, okay, I run you. You do what I say the way I like it done. And, I, and that's that. And over here, I'm going to do something else different. Um... On the on the whole of her though, over all of her, she's a seven. And that means that she likes to spend time alone. She's always in her mind. She's an intellectual. Um, she had a, she said one time on um uh, on somebody radio show, maybe Angie Martinez or um maybe she's on a breakfast club, I'm not sure, that she did not have respect for um Kim and Kanye. However, she didn't dislike them. <laughs> and I thought, really, really, 
first and foremost, her and Kim have the exact same birthday. Except for the year. She's three years younger than, than uh, Kim. But they have the same birthday. And so they are on this cusp of Libra and with a nasty mouth and uh, Scorpio with the sensual side. So when you look at both of them, you will find them both to be, to give off this sexualness about them. That is who they are. That's what makes them who they are. They both are known for being these sexual creatures, whether they're on Instagram twerking or 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 any other kind of selfie. They're all about themselves and how they look and how they feel. And that is them, period. But but the nice the interesting twist with Amber is that Amber is an intellectual. She said that um all of Kim's nude shots or nip slips are all planned. No. She is the one that plans everything that she does. The fact that Wiz Khalifa supposedly got with a couple chicks and cheated on her and whatever, that was not new to her. She knew going into the situation that that is who he was. But she got the child, um, she got a couple of nice things, and then she was ready to book. It wasn't anything about that she was so hurt or this and that and the third. Mm -mm. Not at all. They had a, that kind of relationship to begin with. A, a more of an open relationship. And I don't mean open that both of them was doing everybody every time you turn around. But I'm saying that she was cool with looking the other way. She always had been. She knew what she got when she first got with it. And um, her thing was planned and programmed so it could be like this. Uh, she can have her life. She can have the baby. Um, she ain't trying to do it all by herself. So he can come and get the baby and go to here, there, and everywhere. She don't have no problem with that. Um, she know that he ain't going to do nothing to hurt the baby or what have you. He's just a pothead. He's not a mass murderer or anything. But she never was planning on staying with him. I hate to say that to you, but that's true. Um, that just was not her dream person. Uh... But she's a bright lady. Um, she really loves nature and the outdoors and flowers and birds. That is her. She's really always searching for things and new information and getting to the bottom of things. She'd be a great detective. Very smart. I can't even say it enough to you. Very mature. If you look at, if you even look at her and Kim, looking at Kim is like looking at some kind of little girl. Um, but Amber haven't had to been out here in the world and whatnot. She's a grown woman and she carries herself like that. If you listen to her conversation, um, as far as this year goes, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it's going to be a number three year. Same thing as Kim. So she's going to be <clears throat> out. She's going to want to be out there. She's going to have the limelight. They are attention whores. To be honest with you. So she's going to want the limelight. She's going to want to be seen. She's going to want you to talk to her. Whether it's. <coughs> her side of the story. Of the relationship. She's always going to paint it as the victim. Um, but like I said. She knew what he was like. And he knew what she was like. So let's be real. But it's going to be her wanting to talk to the media and will be. She might do uh, maybe some made for TV movies and stuff. But you're going to see more and more of her. And um, the thing about her and Kim is they have a charming way about them. So you'll be wanting to watch more of her. Whereas Nikki comes across real hard. So I don't know. For a lot of people that she can, she can be a turn off. Even though she's trying right now to simmer that down some um, but she's really about the money she's really about having a good time she's really about getting you uh, in your place she might respond to this I don't know with something nasty but she will get you in your place that is who she is that's all she is about um, will she make music this year yeah for sure look for her music to be something different that you haven't heard before more revealing of her than you have heard before so um, anyways, that is Amber Rose and Nicki Minaj. You guys comment, um, like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. And have a great day.